Meantime, actress Kelly Preston, wife to John Travolta, died after a two year battle with breast cancer. CBS 46 reporter Melissa Stern, who is also currently battling breast cancer, spoke with experts about the need for more research when it comes to the disease. Here's more on the story. One in 12 women are diagnosed with breast cancer every single year. It does not stop for the pandemic. Actress Kelly Preston, known for roles in movies like Jerry Maguire, died Sunday at the age of 57. Her widower, John Travolta, confirmed her death in an Instagram post Sunday night. Miss Preston had metastatic breast cancer, which is stage four uh, breast cancer, which has spread beyond the breast tissue to other areas of her body. So it was a fairly aggressive form of cancer. Rick Aronson, the executive director at Komen Atlanta, says 40,000 people or more will die of breast cancer this year. When it comes to breast cancer, doctors say so much depends on each individual's diagnosis. What we do in terms of their treatment has to do with a lot of things. Um, we take into account everything we know about their cancer, but also any other illnesses they may have, things like age and personal preferences. Studies show early detection can make it easier to treat in many cases, and the diagnosis rates increase dramatically after the age of 40. But that doesn't preclude people from under 40 getting the disease. I can attest to that. I just turned 31, no history of breast cancer in my immediate family. I just happened to feel a lump a few months ago and decided to get it checked out. And thank goodness I did because it turned out to be stage two breast cancer. Access to care and screening and diagnostic services is critically important, even during a pandemic. While Preston's death is heartbreaking, perhaps her story will serve as motivation to get checked and raise awareness about the need for research to help find a cure. By putting it in the spotlight temporarily, it may motivate people to get their screenings and get back in their regular routine. That in and of itself could save lives. Melissa Stern, CBS 46 News.